my shirt before she leave, I'ma need my shirt back. <laughs>you guys so hopefully this is a good angle um i decided halfway through that i wanted to just make like a video on how to get smooth application so these two nails right here is only application so i'm just going to show you guys or just give you some tips on how to get smooth application and honestly this is a new setup for me so i'm hoping you guys are in the frame okay that looks a little bit better so I know my past videos, the, um, the angle has been awkward, so hopefully this is better, but yeah. Um, and also I want to do a tutorial for you guys on how I did these jade nails. These came out so cute, um, and I've already gotten a bunch of compliments on them, so if you guys want that video, just comment down below and let me know, but... Let's just get into how you get this smooth application. So the first thing is um, you wanna make sure you saturate your brush in monomer. Um, and then it's the key to picking up the bead. So you get your monomer in there and then I'm gonna dip it in the acrylic. You can hold it down and get your bead like that or you can tap three times like I'm doing right now. So this is kind of like a big bead, medium sized. Um, and so to get smooth application, you really want to make sure that you dehydrate the bead almost to where it's a good consistency that you can mold it onto the nail. Um, so see, this one's actually really runny. Normally I do a little bit drier beads. Actually, no, this is a perfect bead to work with. So you see how it's not moving, like I placed it on the nail and it's not moving at all. That's the kind of bead that you want when you're looking to get smooth application. So. I'm really not even manipulating the top of the nail. I'm only messing with the sides to make sure I can get that clean shape and still keep them at the shape of the nail. Um, so right now I'm just um, messing with the sides of the nail and smoothing it out so that I can start bringing it down. Um, but as you see, I keep dipping back into my monomer just to clean off my brush, make sure um, there's no debris in the brush. And it really just helps you when you're messing with the acrylic, um, trying to bring it down. So then I'm just gonna slowly pat the nail using the belly of my brush. That is the middle part of the acrylic brush that I'm talking about. You're just gonna use the belly of the brush to pat the nail into place and really just bring it down the nail. And so, this way, you can see I wasn't even really manipulating the acrylic. I was just letting it set onto the nail and allowing it to kind of harden a little bit before I go ahead and bring it down the nail. So you would, you really want to get a semi, not dry bead, but an in the middle bead. And um, I probably will do a video on like acrylic ratio, like liquid to bead ratio just so you guys can kind of get a gist but as you guys can see um the nail is smooth and it'll definitely cut down on your filing time so that's what you want when you're looking to get smooth application but let me just get my next bead also this is a size 18 brush and when you're doing longer nails you want to make sure you have a bigger brush so that you can pick up more acrylic but definitely if you're starting out then um use a smaller brush so again, I'm just gonna dip into my powder, tap it a couple times, get a medium sized bead. I'm gonna take out a lot of the acrylic liquid on my paper towel, and then I'm just gonna place my next bead. So, and then as you can see, I'm starting on the sides first and just bringing it to the middle before I get any kind of spillage. And so as I'm maneuvering the sides of the acrylic, the middle is starting to set into place, which is what you want. So it's really just about like playing with the acrylic a little bit and um, just making sure it stays on top of the nail instead of dripping off into the sides. So you guys, I really hope I'm making sense. <laughs> um, but, I hope you guys can see me too. 
Oh, I also want to mention, make sure you're always angling the nail downwards when you're doing either like a practice nail or a client just because, um, you know, you don't want it running into the cuticle or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. And then as you can see, I'm just slowly bringing this acrylic down using the belly of my brush. I'm applying a little bit of pressure just to make sure it doesn't set into the wrong place. Um, so as you can see, I'm just dragging the acrylic down the nail using the belly of my brush until it gets to the very end of the nail. And then as you can see, it just blends seamlessly like that. But you see, I still have the structure of my nail right here. So you have a nice clean structured nail without it being all dripping over into the sides. But the key really to getting, I feel like I'm saying key a lot, but <laughs> the trick to getting smooth application is really just letting the acrylic do what it does on its own and as little manipulation as possible. So I'm just going to get my next bead. This is probably going to be my cuticle bead. Um, mine is going to be probably a little bit bigger, but it definitely doesn't have to be super big. So just like another little medium bead. I'm gonna, I just lost it. No. Okay, so normally you don't wanna like pick it up like that, but I did just because I knew like I would still be able to work with it, so. And even so, this one's still a little bit runny, so I'm gonna have to um, do some cleaning up on the sides. And you see I already have acrylic in my brush, so I'm gonna go into my monomer again and dip it. Um, so you do wanna be quick when you're working with monomer because as you see, I did have some spillage just because I didn't dehydrate the brush enough before I placed the bead down. But if that does happen, you just wanna make sure you get your brush and clean up the sides. And then definitely when you go in for filing, you can clean it up some more, but um, I'm gonna redo that <laughs> and get another bead because it's not, I don't like how it looks. I still need to get a little bit more in the cuticle area. So you see I'm always turning the finger around to look at the sides and just look at the nail from all angles. Um, so let me get another bead and dry this out a lot. You don't want the cuticle bead to be runny just because that's how you get lifting, especially if it gets under the nail. So I'm really draining out the liquid once I get my bead and then I'm placing it into close to the cuticle and then just using my brush to push it up. That way it doesn't flood the cuticle area but it's still easy to use. And so I'm just doing the same thing, using the sides. And then once I get it in a place that I like it, I'm just um, blending the acrylic down into the nail. So. So you see the structure. I still need to add a little bit more in this cuticle area, but as far as right now, the structure is pretty good. So see, look at that. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before it starts running to the sides, but 
In a minute, I'm gonna show you guys the structure of the nail and just how much um, just smooth application can really help you cut down filing time. And actually, my monomer is getting cloudy and um, whenever you see that, you definitely wanna switch out your monomer just because you don't wanna work with monomer that has little acrylic particles in it um, that can definitely affect your work. So you want to switch that out when you see that, especially when you're doing using clear because um, the clear won't come out as clear. It'll be a little cloudy and you don't want that. So, so let me just, I just messed it up with my nail. Okay. So let me just turn to the side again and show you guys the structure of the nail. As you can see, it has the apex and when it gets down to the cuticle area, it's not as thick. So that's the kind of structure that you want for your nail. And um, yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys. Hope I was explaining well and you could see me. Um, but definitely give me feedback in the comments on if you want more teaching videos like this. I definitely like doing these and I feel like I could maybe share with you guys some tips or just anything that I've learned. So. so now that you guys know how to do a smooth application, I can definitely make an entirely another video going into a little bit more depth if you guys have any questions, but hopefully this helped you all a little bit with application. Um, I'm just going to finish this now and then I'm gonna come back and get into the design portion. All right, you guys, so now it's time for me to show you all Madame Glam's newest collection, Wendy Lover collection, and this is actually inspired by Chicago, as you can tell by the vibrant colors, but um, I was gonna film a tutorial for this look, but I decided it's pretty self-explanatory. I just did a pink base and then really just any kind of uh, splashes on the nails, but this is a really pretty abstract nail art idea, so I could definitely see me wearing this in the summertime, or honestly, I'm tempted to do it right after this set right here, so. Um, yeah, let me get into the first color, which this is my favorite color that I received. This is so pretty. Um, it's called Berry Berry, and actually all of these colors are highly pigmented. All of Madame Gum's colors are highly pigmented, but, um, I feel like this collection in particular was really pigmented because this is only one swatch application, and all of these are only one swatch applications, and as you can see, the color payoff is already there so uh, this is really pretty it's the pink color I used in this nail look and I don't know honestly I'm not a big dark pink fan really but um, this is very pretty so the next one is another pretty teal color um, if this wasn't my favorite color the blue one definitely would be so this is called winter teal um, it's this color right here and then actually, okay, this is pretty, I'm not gonna go through explaining the colors on here because you can see it, but um, this is just a nice teal color. I actually don't have any teals really in my gel collection, so I'm really excited about this one right here. The next one is a dark green color called Oh Happy Day. And this is another one. Honestly, if you guys know me, you know that I love dark colors. Um, I'm, you don't really see me wearing light colors on my nails. I'm not really sure why. I've always just loved darker colors, but this is another pretty green color. Um, you can even do like a an emerald jade green look with this nail as well if you just take some um, acetone and stuff uh, for marble, but that's off the topic. Um, but anyways, the next color is this yellow color. As you might have guessed, it's called Honey Mustard. And it's this yellow color right here. Definitely, it's giving Honey Mustard, you guys. Like, yeah, no, this is definitely the color that you would put on like a hot dog in the summertime. But I'm actually, I actually don't like Honey Mustard. I'm more of a mustard girl. So I don't know why, but I've always just enjoyed like the ketchup and mustard duo. But anyways, the last color is called eggnog latte this is a really pretty it's just like a um how do i explain this it's like a off-white color kind of um you can tell in the look right here 
it's giving more of like a kind of eggshell white. Actually, isn't that what it's called? No, it's called eggnog latte. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's kind of giving off of an egg white color. But I actually really love this nail look. Um, so you'll probably be seeing that on my nails at some point. Hey okay, guys, there are five more colors in the collection, so definitely be sure to check it out on Madam Glam's website. The link will be in my description. And don't forget to use my discount code Yanni30 for money off. Um, I highly recommend their colors, and I'm not just saying that because I'm working with them. Um, I use these colors back when I was working in a nail salon, so they're really like top of the line, um, best gel polishes out there, honestly. And they last so long, you guys. They last incredibly long. And as you can see, they're very vibrant. You don't have to worry about any streakiness or anything like that with these colors. So um, I definitely recommend Madame Glam's colors. But hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And comment down below any video suggestions. Let me know if you want the tutorial on this nail look. And not my voice cracking. <laughs> Follow me on my social medias at yanni.jolie on Instagram, YJ Nails with the Z, and yj.fitness. I'm really excited for the new year and I'm going to be coming out with some more content for you guys. And yeah, I'm really excited, you guys. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.